Hello everyone, welcome back. In Thailand currently there's a big hoo-ha in the media regarding some um, Thai actress who fell off a boat and drowned and died. Uh, there were five other passengers on that boat and they initially fled and they threw some things overboard and then they all made phone calls to uh, elite contacts um, the five people on board, obviously she was an actress, um, they were quite influential, well-to-do persons. One of them was her manager, female. I'll just take a look at my list. And the other four were all male. Uh, there was Mr... Uh, the, the, the manageress is Miss Kratik. That's a nickname. I'm not going to pronounce the full names. I'll, I'll type it out in the description at the bottom, but I'm not going to pronounce it. I'll tell you why I'm not going to pronounce it. Juta Suksawat. That wasn't too bad. Next one, Mr. Poor. I'll, I'll pronounce the names. Mr. Poor. Uh, uh, he's the owner of the boat. Okay, well to do, high society person, boat owner. Um, Tanupat. Lair Tawiwit. Then you've got Mr. Sand, CEO of a company. I've got to be careful because the media is not releasing his private details. But from what I can find, the CEO of Arisma Technology, again, a high society person, uh, full name Wisapat Manomiarat. Then a Mr. Robert. Um, Again, the media is not providing information on him, but from what I can find, he's the CEO of Taxi Mail. Got to be a little. If he's not, I apologise to Taxi Mail. Uh, Payaboon Krikanjananun. There we go. And then finally, the fifth person is a Mr. Job. Again, I can't find much information on him. Uh, seems to be. And if I'm wrong, I apologize. Director of Black Amber. His full name is Nitas Kiratisutisason. So there we go. Um, this happened on Thursday, the 25th of February. And they didn't immediately report it to the police. And then they did. And then you had uh, rescue boats coming out looking for her. And they looked for a total of 38 hours because she was found on Saturday, the 26th. Um, and on the, uh, uh, on the Friday, the 25th, all the five crew members, people that were on the boat, crew members, had given statements to the police and the police found their statements to be a bit fishy. Didn't mean that. Um, and apparently since then, some statements have been modified and revised and one of the people was said to uh, be going back to the police to change his statements. So it's been in the media all the time over here and everyone is kind of hooked to it because by all accounts, she seemed to be a very nice lady, no problems. Um, she wasn't financially so well off because she's had quite a few years out of the limelight and she had a father that had cancer. Now she grew up with her father, not her mother, since around the age of three. Her father had cancer and she, she oh, a lot of the money went towards his treatment, finally passed away about a year ago, don't quote me. And now she's met her demise. Um, it's not apparent that she was closely connected or she had any links to these uh, male passengers other than obviously her manager. And one thing that does happen in Thailand, this is a lot of speculation and I've got to make this point very, very clear. You have what's called high society uh, and, and then you've got uh, models and celebrities who for money, okay, would do like an escort service. And sometimes it might happen that they've been duped into an escort service without knowing that that's what it is. Uh, for example, maybe it's to meet a potential em employer for a, a, a script or a series or whatever it might be. Um, and there was a lot of speculation that this was one such thing. There was speculation that because they threw um, glass 
the, the glasses that we're drinking from and the wine bottle and things like that. There's speculation that there were some drugs and obviously you've got what's called the rape drug where uh, um, the victim would be more or less like a paralyzed zombie or something. I'm not too sure exactly how it works. And then, so, so, and that maybe she fought against that, that she understood otherwise. And she was like, no, because she was a good girl. So there's a lot of speculation of foul play. And it's very, there's a lot of things to point to mm, suspicion of foul play. That maybe she was pushed. Um, they didn't maybe intend to kill her, but maybe someone pushed her because there's a video apparently where you can kind of see her falling backwards overboard. But it's very dark, so it's very difficult to make out. I've seen it, and for me, with my eyes, I couldn't, I couldn't come to that determination. But that's apparently the determination made by the police. And the breaking news is that, oh, so before the breaking news, so the mother came out saying it's foul play. Then the boat owner offered her like a million dollars, 30 million Thai baht. And all of a sudden she's forgiven him and, and one of the other guys, his friend, She's forgiven them, but not the other three. Um, and so a lot of Thai people came up in uproar about the mother because Teng Mo, that's the, the, the nickname for this actress that, that died. Teng Mo, it means uh, watermelon. So a lot of criticism came out towards the mother because Teng Mo didn't grow up with the mother. Didn't, I don't know what the relationship was exactly. Um, but the mother's done well out of it. I, I, I don't know. I'm not going to put myself in the shoes of the mother. And over here, sometimes you have to react to an offer quickly. Okay? Because then it's off the table. So then you lose and lose. I honestly, I'm not in that situation. I can't imagine to be in that situation. So I just thought to let you know that headline news at the moment in Thailand is, is about uh, the death of an actress. Um, the five people on the boat so far being charged with, uh, I think the boat owner, uh, for operating a boat without a license, without the right papers and negligence. And I think they're also being charged with maybe, uh, um, uh, giving false statements. No foul play, no murder charges as yet. Things are still unfolding. Um, really sad, sad case. And it highlights again how things kind of work in Thailand when it comes to big money, okay? Uh, influential people that are well connected and something happens and they phone those connections who phone other connections and they all have to buy time in, in the story and how it's all released into the media. Uh, the media won't ask deep questions, so it's very much like Western media bought and paid for, I guess. Uh, and there was a very famous case with the Red Bull hair, the grandson, and he rode over a policeman five in the morning, completely drunk and high on cocaine, and they found him because there was a trail of blood because he dragged the policeman's body under the Ferrari. And so far, he hasn't come to justice. They paid that policeman's family money and he ended up running away and the police bodged the investigation and bodged them some evidence and it went to a prosecutor that forget, forgot to prosecute the case in the court and, and lost some documents and whatever else. And like more or less 10 years on, it's still not resolved, so no justice. And that, that's the thing here. Um, and I think this case is getting a lot of frustration because she's looked at as being a nice lady and these other five are lying and whatever and fleeing and coming back and then fleeing again and getting rid of evidence. So it's, and, and it, they're being treated obviously in a different way than I would be or than the general population would be. In the general population, honestly, they catch the criminals or suspects, and then they make them enact the scene and they parade them sometimes on television. And it happens super fast. So, and this has been dragged out. Who knows? 
one other piece of information that's interesting, I don't know um, where where it might go to, but they found a, a, a large, deep lesion, a cut in her leg. I've not seen photos or anything. I don't know which leg, I don't know how deep, how long. And obviously the initial thought was that's from the propeller. And then the thought, there's speculation that no, it's maybe from a bottle of wine, which sounds completely weird. Oh, and let's go back to the beginning, full statement also. They're kind of, oh, someone's calling, just bear with me.